everybody out there this is popular stranger we're back at you again today with another mutt 15 video it's final edition wednesday and we have some brand new final edition cards in packs real quick though i just wanted to show you guys for those of you who are kind of short on finishing some of those draft collections or draft sets we do have all pro packs in stores right now there's a bundle but the all pro packs this week contain three gold or elite players at least three gold or elite players a mix of seven other player and team items a program collectible i'm not sure what that means and one guaranteed nfl draft badge so if you're short on draft badges if you needed like one more and you thought they weren't coming in packs or coming back in packs i should say there they are so that's your way to go ahead and get them so let's take a look at this week's final edition cards okay so my boy connor barwin finally got an upgraded card and he is this week's final edition hero the outstanding left outside linebacker from my philadelphia eagles zone d and pass rush style as the description says a very underrated season uh, i think he was in the top definitely top 10 in sacks uh, maybe even top five i'd have to look it up but just had a phenomenal season in, in uh you know, I talked about it in my pack opening video Sunday that I was thinking about doing a all Eagles team. And a lot of the responses I got from you guys was, yes, go ahead and do it. So if I do, and it's kind of seeming like I'm going to, uh, this card will certainly help me out over there on the left outside linebacker spot. So let's take a look at the other cards in this set. I feel like it's going to be pretty cheap to do. Uh, as you can see, uh, this card is cheap already. You guys know normally when these cards first come out, when I bring you guys these videos, they're outrageously overpriced. And this one is at 22k, but this, uh, you know, lets you know that it's going to be a lot cheaper if it's going for 22k already. So it's Brandon LaFell from the New England Patriots. He did have a really, really good season coming from the Carolina Panthers as well. Uh, one of Tom Brady's main targets: six foot two, 96 catch, 90 release. 95 speed 84 elusiveness 86 route running 82 awareness 91 spectacular catch and 98 catch in traffic so not a bad card at all again a 92 overall we'll take a look at the next one i don't know how the new york giants keep getting these final edition cards when they absolutely stunk last year i, I know i'm an eagles fan i know it's gonna sound a little hateful but good gosh it seems like every single week there's a giant final edition card. So this week it's Andre Williams, the halfback from the Giants. 5 foot 11, 87 awareness, 87 ball carrier vision, 92 speed, 95 acceleration, 90 elusiveness, 91 agility, 95 carry, 96 trucking. So he has a nice combination of trucking, speed, um, ball carrier vision, agility, just a nice overall uh back and even 85 strength which i believe he has a better strength rating than golden ticket Lashawn mccoy that just sounds incredibly stupid uh, but he's going for 20k as well so again another one that's up there fairly cheap already um next card up is the left tackle from the arizona cardinals formerly of the oakland raiders i believe jared veld here i probably got his name wrong but he's a 94 overall left tackle Six foot eight. Good gosh, that's tall. And uh, he has 101 strength. I just noticed that. So here we go with a card with a stat that's over 100, even though he's only a 94 overall. So 73 agility, 92 run block, 97 pass block, 72 speed, 101 strength. We mentioned 82 awareness, 81 acceleration, and 92 impact block. So this card actually looks like it could be pretty good. The run block is a little too low for me, but pass blocking is very, very good. And, you know, as we mentioned, the strength. So this one's up for 30K and 99K, just another card that's pretty cheap. I mean, you could do this Connor Barwin set for probably under 100K already right now. Psych, I lied, because the last card, when I looked at this earlier, it was not going for this much, but it's uh, George Ayacola, I think, or Aloka. I don't know where I got Ayacola from. But he's a 94 overall strong safety from the Cincinnati Bengals. Six foot four, so he's really, really tall. This card could actually be pretty good. 84 play rec, 93 zone coverage, very good for a safety. 92 speed, that's a little slow at this point in Madden Ultimate Team. 80 tackle, 82 pursuit, 96 acceleration, 70 man coverage, and 
92 hit power. I would actually like to compare him to Taylor Mays just to see because they both have the same height. So Taylor's faster, tackles better, uh, but the coverage stats are way, way better for Aloka. Um, hit power better for Taylor Mays, pursue better for Taylor Mays. So um, this card could be a really good budget card. I mean, right now it's obviously not because people are putting up for a ridiculous amount. Um, but we'll have to see how much this one drops down to because this could be, again, a really, really good budget card. So those are the four cards that are required to get this Connor Barwin. As always, we got the five gold badges and the Connor Barwin collectible that can be earned from the solo challenge, which I took care of earlier this morning. And I've already collected the five badges because I'm obviously going to be doing this collection. Uh, just waiting for these four cards to get cheaper. So let's go ahead and take a look at Connor Barwin now. So here is the 97 overall final edition Connor Barwin. You see we got one on the auction house. Earlier we mentioned it has the zone defense and pass rush styles. Let's take a look at the stats on the back of the card. 6'4", 96 acceleration, 93 block shed, 91 speed, 95 tackle, 96 pursuit, 92 strength, 95 play recognition, and 78 zone. So he's certainly not a great coverage linebacker, but will be good at getting to the quarterback now. I used to run with the Football Outsiders 90 overall version and it was very solid for me in pass coverage even with the low zone coverage rating so um i don't know i'm definitely going to put this one on my main team and then as i mentioned once we start building that all eagles team we'll take a look at that one other stat i just want to point out because ea just disrespects my man connor barwin only 81 jumping this dude had go look it up on google he had an insane vertical jump at the combine he was a high school and I believe college basketball player. He posted a Vine or an Instagram video earlier uh, this offseason where he just vertical jumps on like this stack of mats that's probably, you know, four, five, six foot high. It's just crazy. You guys got to go look it up. Um, but yeah, they disrespected him with the vertical jump. And I would like to compare this card uh, to the 93 overall Thomas Davis, which I have. And. As you can see, just a whole lot better there in every stat except for zone coverage. And then even if you compare him to the 98 overall Von Miller, he still is pretty comparable. Von obviously has the edge there. Um, so you might be able to move Connor over to uh, like a left end or right end position as well um, because of the good block shed and the good pursuit, good tackle, all that good stuff. So there is the card. Like I said, I'm planning on getting this set done. We'll wait till the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be back more than likely with a flashback pack opening. I know I've been promising it for a while, uh, but I think it's going to be coming today as well as a lineup or team update video for my Diamond Dynasty team. So all my MLB 15 The Show followers out there, you can be on the lookout for that. I'm out. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.